Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of May Night. This week, we are ranking and reviewing Trap, M. Night Shyamalan's 2024 film, which follows the story of a serial killer finding himself trapped by armed forces in a concert of young girls. How does he wriggle out of this situation whilst maintaining the facade of Superdad? As usual, we'll start with a spoiler-free 10 minutes, go into a segment each based on some change, and then we'll wrap up with a spoiler discussion, ranking it in seven different areas and taking the average. To kick things off, though, we're going to start with the bog-standard enjoyment score. Are you ready? Yeah, who's going first? I don't know, Freddy. Hi, Dave, by the way. Hi, yeah. Dave. Sorry, I just... Probably Rachel as well. Hope you're doing well. Who's going first? Mm, I reckon it is you. Okay, right. I've got my score. You got it. I think so. You worked it out. <laughs> it was a tough one, right? It was, it, yeah. Well, well, let's just go. Let's go. Let's right. go. Okay, I'm non-spoiler. Gonna, non-spoiler for, for the now. next 10 minutes. I've, we'll let you know when spoilers start. I've worked out how to talk about this film without spoiling, so we're good. All right. Count me in. Three, two, one. 6.2. 6.0. Ooh, Ooh, very close. All right, tell me why it was difficult for you to come to a... A score for this one uh, because it was an uh, it was typical M Night really cool idea mm-hmm. and it had Josh Hartnett who I thought did a great job you like him um, but the execution certainly story wise was one of the sloppiest things I've ever seen in my entire life <laughs> <Mate>. <laughs> what the fuck was that film <laughs> like, it was all over the place it was oh it was I don't, I mean it was just so lazy. Yeah, I mean, lazy, bizarre. I mean, okay, so here, here's, I'll, I'll make some points. So sure. this was a tough one to do. I have here, when I'm writing down my notes, I'm currently thinking of ranking it between a four and a six. That's a big range. Okay. Between a four and a six for gut reaction. Um, and I guess it was so odd because there, there was so much about it that wasn't good. Plot was all over the place. Yep. Full of holes. Mm-hmm. In my opinion... A lot of B movie performances. I mean, B movie dialogue for sure. Yeah, um, yeah, and it wasn't so much that the twists and turns were predictable. In some cases, maybe they were, but most of the time they weren't predictable. Uh, but they just left you saying consistently, "Oh, for goodness' sake!" Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you find that? yeah, 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 yeah. Like something happened. You're like, oh, for God's sake! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> so there were random things involved still i'm gonna make sure i veer away from spoiler territory here but other things like that didn't drive the plot at all like you had like anti chekhov's guns Mm -hmm. i give you an example which isn't a spoiler um kid cuddy's character yeah who seemed to be there to purely play a gay diva stereotype yeah yeah and then they even like left weird red herrings around his character and other characters where you thought this will be important later on and it had no it just bearing didn't matter. whatsoever yeah, 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 another yeah. minor i mean this is very minor but i will say as a spoiler like at one point he talks about his lactose intolerance now this won't spoil anything for you because it made no difference whatsoever <laughs> like what what did you think was the purpose for him and a couple of the other characters being in there i so the lactose intolerance was just to make him look like a dick but I didn't really. Un- but it didn't really matter because there was no reason for him to be there. Yeah, but it wh- just meant not. It, I- but was he like? Is he M Night's mate? You know what? You, I mean, probably. So there's some nepotism in this, isn't there? <laughs> to say the least, there is some nepotism so in this film. He, I mean, he M Night funded this film himself. You aware of that? I didn't know that. So okay. he's had a bit of a track record of funding his own films, right? And I I think that part of the reason why I didn't go even lower than six was because he has the 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 gumption to fund this himself mm. and then just do what he wants to do. He just goes, "That's a cool idea. I'm gonna do it, mm. and I don't really care what anyone else says." And that extends to the very interesting casting of Salika, which is his daughter. Which is his daughter. She can sing. Yeah. But she she can't act. Oh, no. And she didn't look right in the role. No. She didn't look like the the first... I didn't know going in, and I saw her, and I was like, that actor doesn't look right in that role. Like, she doesn't look like a superstar. Like, you mean, like, she looks like she was learning how to act yeah. on the job. Yeah. A very... It was almost like a thin layer was over her yeah. of, like, this is someone out of place. Yeah. And it's all performance-related. Yeah. Songs, I've got to say, 
Bangers. Quite like the songs. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> it's worked as an advertise a feature length. Yeah, he's literally shilled his his, his yeah. daughter. But I don't mind it because he's paid for it himself. He's an artist, Which and is he fair just enough. gets to do whatever the hell he wants because he's taken the risk. And I I respect that. Yeah, he did a shit job of it. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, he did in many ways. Yeah, but I can't say, and this is this is part of the reason why my my score was relatively high. I can't say I found the film boring. A hundred percent. I cannot say that for every inane moment. Yeah. I still found myself interested and dare I say it, gripped yeah. <laughs> at certain points. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah, for every yeah. hell, for God's sake, I was still like, for God's sake, what's going to happen yeah, next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope the next one's better because <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And I mean, for me then, it really actually tested my understanding of what our gut reaction score is. Ooh. And our gut reaction score is my enjoyment. Yeah. yeah. But it was... <laughs> There were so many things that were just like, what? Yeah. Why? Who? How? Yeah. I mean, why to give you happen? a bit of an idea of yeah. why it is the way it is, because you, I absolutely agree and you're absolutely bang on. He has boasted that this was the fastest script that he's ever written. Mm. As if that's something to brag about. <laughs> you probably looked at it and thought, oh, there's got to be something positive coming out of this script. I mean, the guy literally, like... He would create problems, which mm. when I do a bit of writing here and there, I quite look forward to like, that is the creativity. How do I solve these problems? Yeah. And he basically just went, nah. <laughs> I'll just do whatever. Like, I don't really care. Coincidence. So- somewhat. But you also felt like it wasn't that he created <laughs> problems. It's almost like he had solutions and made problems out of them. <laughs> <laughs> Like, rather than the other way around, you yeah. felt like this yeah. could have been so much simpler in many ways, which we will go. I swear we're going to go into it properly. Yeah. We're going to really yeah. dive into it. But it just was, oh, okay, he's decided to do that. He's decided to do that. They've done that. Me and Rachel were like, what? What is going on? Yeah. What is happening at every single point in this? But yeah, I mean... I, I felt like I enjoyed it more than it was stupid. Yeah, I think I'd agree with that, yeah. But I still couldn't. So for me, 6.5 is a net good. Yeah. And I couldn't bring myself to go that high. Like, it, it had to max out. My range was four to six that I was yeah. going to do. And I literally went up max. or down just based purely on... How fun I, it was. I enjoyed this film. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But it was so... All over the place. There were some real blunders, weren't there? There were some good parts. There were, there were, there were, it was an incredibly fun premise, Mm -hmm. right? Yep. This, the cinematography was quite good. It Mm -hmm. was fine. Like it looked quite nice. Um, The dialogue might be the worst thing I've ever heard in my entire life. I mean, the way that the, I want to be careful about spoilers here, but the way that, the characters shared information. Oh my god! Was so strange, odd, force, bizarre. It was like B movie. It was like a children's movie. Yeah, yeah. It was literally like a children's movie. The way he did it. It was so jarring sometimes. Yeah, yeah. It was like purposefully. It was like purposefully bad, like a yeah. satire yeah. of these films. And you were thinking, right? Why am I enjoying this? Why am yeah. I enjoying what yeah. I'm seeing it? And I don't know. It was just such a fun idea. Like fun it's, idea. It's, it's so dumb, but Quirky, it's so fun. Could, it's dumb, like, yeah, yeah, it's, dumb fun. It's, and, dumb fun all over your eyes. And <laughs> That's what it was. I, 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 I got to say, mate, I, I absolutely agree with every single thing that you said, 100%. It is, it, I did somehow enjoy it. Yeah. And I, and I think that the, the conclusion that I came to with it was, and the reason I didn't go even lower was because of the whole... This guy's funded it himself. He's mm. gone, I love my daughter to bits. Yeah. I'm going to help her career. Yeah. And I've paid for it. So fuck you lot. That's what I want to <laughs> do. I'm going to do it. I've paid for it. I'm going to come in it at some point as yeah, well. Got yeah, yeah. Why not? It's yeah. my film. I'm, Fair enough. I've got, a, I've got a great idea. Yeah, I haven't figured out any of the details, no. any of the plot holes, and I'm going to make the movie anyway. Fair enough. Because... I've paid for just it. Fuck you. <laughs> it's it's fuck basically you, it's just a movie film. that just goes, fuck you, it's mine. Yeah, and it wasn't just enjoyable for it wasn't just enjoyable for no reason. Like 
I was I felt warmly towards the performances, even though some of them weren't that good. Like I felt warmly towards Josh Hartnett's performance. I really you know, liked sometimes him. I was like, is that very good? Maybe not. I thought that Ariel Donahue, the girl who yep. plays Riley, was great. Like, I agree. Really good. I thought as a ch- particularly with child acting performances. Rivaling Christopher Mintz Pass. I was going to say, have we finally found one that you would say is a good child? <laughs> Better than a 17 year old. <laughs> uh, I thought she was really good. I agree. I agree. Uh, Salika, how, how's it pronounced? Sorry. Sal- yeah, I think that's Salika. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whilst her acting was whatever, mm-hmm. let's not go into it. Yeah. I really liked quite a lot of her songs. I liked her songs. Particularly yeah. the last one on the yeah. piano. Really liked that. Yeah, I agree. Um, and then other than that, it was an absolute mess. Car crash, yeah. like a, it a, is a car meandering, crash. tumbling, fall into a vat of redundancy. Mm-hmm. But I quite quite enjoyed what yeah. was that. I, I wanted it. There were points where I was like, "Oh, it's going to end soon," and yeah. it didn't, and I was happy. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. And I think that I think that pretty much all the problems come from the writing for me. It was really the writing where it went. It fell at the first hurdle. Mm. It was the dialogue. It was the way that the characters find, you know, the, the performances. The as well. It's not just the writing is in the dialogue, but the writing is yeah, in the I actual mean, story. Like writing the story so and the dialogue, everything that else. comes with writing that script beforehand yep. was where the problems began. And mm. I think that Josh Hartnett, yep. I, I think that given what he had to work with, given the dialogue he had to work yep. with, I really liked him in it. I thought he was very good with what he had to make so i'm looking forward to a spoilers discussion but are you ready for a what if i'm ready for it all right it's time for some spoilers and i want to just bring it back before we do critical score i'm going to bring it right back around yeah i was amazed by how memorable this movie was yeah yeah, I think I think I, agree I don't with that. think I've ever remembered twenty six things about a film straight out after it. That is true. Although, does it count if it's the things you remember? Are like that is fucking ridiculous. Maybe. Well, I didn't give it a high score, but I certainly was not bored. Like yeah. I, I gave it higher than the Mad Max is. And- yeah, it was. No, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I tell you what, I I think that I probably I. I didn't. Re- I every time I go to a cinema, I realize just how much I love going to cinema. Oh, yeah. I absolutely love it. And I was and I was wondering like because I feel the same way. I was like, I really enjoyed this movie. Mm. I was like, would I enjoy it if I was if it was like, oh, I've got to watch this movie this afternoon at home, and then I put it on and I was just sat there on my sofa and was like, uh, what the fuck is going on here? Mm. I think that because of how ridiculous it was, I would have enjoyed that at home. Yeah, I think that that is so stupid. It was pretty mad. You, you get ones which, like Furiosa, for instance, mm. I quite enjoyed. Like, yeah. At least I enjoyed the cinema experience, even though I came out of it and was like, eh, whatever. Yeah. I would not have enjoyed Furiosa at home. No. But this, I think I would, because it's like, yeah. It's the, you, you're reacting. You, it's making you go, like, what? Yeah. What, yeah. what, what? It resonates in a yeah. very strange way. I had a, a little a little take on it. Go on. Right. I was thinking, where is it? Here we go. I was trying to think of other movies that reminded reminded me of. Yeah. And I was thinking, it's kind of like a diehard plot. Okay. But if the protagonist was a kind of Hannibal Lecter, Sherlock Holmes level of ridiculousness. Mm. Yeah. And and they were the bad guy. Yeah. So I was thinking that's kind of like that it's like a diehard sort of like they're, they're he's trapped in this building, he's got to figure his way around all the guards yeah. and like, you know, but obviously one of the things that makes it quite interesting is you're following the antagonist. Yeah, which is a nice, it was a nice, like, yeah. hook. Yeah. Like, the trailer for this was very intriguing. Yeah. And, yeah, I, I get you kind of die hard. Sherlock versus, what, had it, more on the Hannibal Lecter because he's got that charm. And, yes, yeah, yeah. He's, he's kind of being a bit detective I guess, but more <laughs> bordering on the ridiculous. If you're just tuning in to the yeah. episode, mm-hmm. right, you haven't heard our What If segment, um, one of the most important things that really needs to be, clear about this movie is it's it is ridiculous mm. like every like you've just come out with 25 distinct yeah. moments mm. where like if you give it any thought whatsoever you're like this what was he thinking yeah so that's 
That's just one thing you want to know. It is a ridiculous film, but it's really enjoyable. Yeah, and it is really enjoyable. We are about to do the cine files where we rank, where we rank things yeah. in categories. It's not. Gonna this do well. is going to do shocking. It's going to do bad. Uh, quick comment: third act where it changed the perspective from uh, being mostly I forget his name now, the Bear Man. Yeah, the Co- protagonist Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. Where it just changes perspective from him to Raven it was like really weird. Did you notice that? It kind of really like the the whole focus of the first two acts is kind of the, Cooper the extreme close ups. So it came. It just the whole plot was kind of following Cooper, and then in the third act, it just kind of starts following Raven, which is what what made the shilling of his daughter a bit more egregious. Yeah, He's, you he paid for it, M Night Shyamalan. You, fair enough. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Go, go for it. Yep. You, you present your daughter to the world. We both said we we enjoyed the music. I did. Like I like the, the music. And to be honest, up to that point, I wasn't that offended by her acting. Yeah. But then when you're like, all right, now we're going to front and center. She's the hero. It didn't hold up. It was like quite painfully obvious that she was a, a considerable couple of the others in terms of the acting, and not just because of the bad dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. like. It was. It was. It was good. very jarring. Um, it was not good. But yeah, you know what? It <sighs> was a film, wasn't it? It was some film. Uh, have I got any other comments to make? Don't think so. Yeah. Uh, if, if you've just tuned in as well, a uh, couple of the scores if you're interested. So budget thirty million, box off forty seven million worldwide. Mm, IMDb. Nice. Want to take a guess? I I um, saw this. The uh, was it? It was about six point two. Yeah. Yeah. Checked. Bang on. Bang on. Six point two. Rotten Tomatoes. That affects your score, by the way. No, it isn't. No, no, no. Um, I just think that's pretty damn accurate. <laughs> nice. um, who do you reckon rated it higher, audience or critic on Rotten Tomatoes? Audience. Yeah. Surely. 65% audience, 55, 55% critic. Okay. Not which bad. is surprisingly good. Uh, letterboxed, 2.9 out of 5. Mm. So I ain't got a great frame of reference for that, but my understanding is it's kind of in line with the rest of the scores. It kind of, you know. In line with our scores of yeah. like, you know what? We've seen films it's hard we've to enjoyed hate. less. Yeah, we've seen a lot of films we've enjoyed less. It gives you so but many God reasons it. to hate it. You know, uh, if, if and films, it's impossible to. Yeah, if 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 the purpose of a film is to have something to talk about, this is greater than any I've seen for a long time. It was it was fun. It was very fun, and I think that I think that Shaman he really deserves like he deserves the recognition of like. You are bold. Like, you are just a bold artist. You just do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I like it. I respect it. I yeah. just got to say, like, that. I feel like I, he's got extra time from me for that. Mm. He just... I, I like that he had a meteoric rise and then he started releasing films that were panned. Yep. And then he had a good comeback with Split and uh, yep. the second one, uh, yep. the third one in that trilogy that I've forgotten. And so I, I now I think people are just seeing him like the kooky uncle of film. <laughs> They're like, oh, Shyamalan's doing another thing where he's got his daughter in it. And Josh Hartnett, who no one's seen for ages, but they all remember how big and bear-like he is. He was in Oppenheimer. Was he? Oh, yes, he was. Yeah, fair enough. Well, you know what? Let's, why don't we just rate? Why don't we give us a raise? Yeah, okay. So uh, do you want to... Oh, actually, just remind me of your score. 6.0. 6. Oh, and I was 6.2. Um, so plot, <laughs> oh, it's one of those, right? It's driving force versus many issues with it. Oh, you know what we used to say in plot is if it was unique, that gave it something. Cause other than that, for me, it's a two. Yeah. I think, I think that that whole assessment is correct. I think it, it, it does deserve a boost because we yeah. enjoyed it, but like, We've said it was enjoyable. We said it's memorable, but it couldn't have been without that very premise. Like, yeah, it was a it, fun it premise. Re- memorable, and also it's almost memorable for how bad it was in, 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 in making no sense. So <laughs> I'm thinking I would be happy with a four. Okay, we'll give it a four. I think that seems fair. Uh, character. Right, so characters... It didn't do anything to flesh any of them out, really. I didn't really understand. There wasn't, like, explain to me why he was a crazy murderer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, the mum mum thing was so shoehorned. He's he just crazy. It's just like, it's something to do with his mum. Yeah. Oh, characters. Like, I mean, the FBI informant was a, like. The profiler. The profiler. 
was like so like a bizarre a very bad caricature like yeah. a very not well and like she's like almost omniscient but but also but useless bo- useless <laughs> yeah. uh, the obviously lady raven was fine as a character although here's another thing actually which kind of comes into the character is is just the complete lack of understanding about their motivations yeah and yeah what the the purpose the is. decision making yeah. is part of what makes a character yeah and the decision making apart from for cooper whose decision making was it will definitely work whatever it is yeah yeah <laughs> which okay fine like raven deciding to do what she the, the, like go to the house what did you say the name of the vendor was jamie jamie his decision is stu- what a ridiculous character having someone yeah. in per- like purely so that he literally was, he, he was he, there to tell him about the trap. Yeah. Which made no sense to have someone, to have a character that did that. It, that was one of the real issues. Oh, God. What was, are we going to do this then? Uh, which other character? Uh, Kid Cuddy's character and the other guy who just winked at, some, winked at her yeah. at the end. What, no, why are they there? That was Kid Cuddy's character. No, no, there was Kid Cuddy's character. Who did the like weird wink Kid, smile no, thing. He, the, do you remember Yeah, that? yeah. He, he did the one who he looked back and fancied Josh Hartnett's character. Fair enough. Yeah. And then there was the other guy. Oh, I do know who you mean. Like, yeah. he, he was born, like, he must have just been one of M. Knight's mates as well, surely. Fuck you, God. Literally right, there okay. for no reason. Let's let's get that moving then. What do you reckon? I liked the daughter. Just as generally. a character. Yeah, as I, a character I, and a performance. She was, she was yeah, I agree um, I guess her being there and, and kind of having some resolution with her friends. Oh, was an I really liked point. that. When uh, when she got to go on stage and then her mate was like really pissed off about it, I was like, ah, get in, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think that was one of the. the she re- got fleshed out more as a character than Cooper did. Oh yeah, for sure. Like she got this whole backstory about you know how uh, she got these problems with her friends at school. Yeah, yeah, it was really and the, yeah, it was and nice. it was like I understand this person. Nice. And then you got the redemption. And then there was redemption. And, and then it- she also like forgave, not forgave her dad. She gave but she, him she, a she, hug. she didn't do the the classic. I hate you. I can't yeah, stand. I, I, I quite liked that as well. I, ah, she's she was good. By far the best part of this movie. I'd, I'd say she bumps up to a three. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, it's about to get shafted because we're on to dialogue. Uh, yeah. So here's here's what we're thinking then. How bad is a one? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, because I guess one means it couldn't get worse, I guess, right? You can't get lower yeah. than one. And I I that? think that it, it wasn't... Well, can you? Like a point one. I think we go ones are... are I don't know. Yeah. Well, I we're there's... in whole numbers, actually, so... Yeah, so yeah, unless we did zero, though. Oh, um, it, I it could have been worse. Yeah, Surely. I think it could have been worse. All right, two, then? I think two. Let's All give right. it a two. And just, if you're listening, specifically, it is because... The way that the characters shared information with each other was very, very reminiscent of an NPC in a video game. Yeah. Like, like an- they would just, if he managed to meet the right character mm. and strike up a conversation with them, they would then present him with like perfectly laid out information. <laughs> yeah. Bizarre. In the strangest fucking way. If he picked up a radio, yeah. then the British woman, whose accent was most recognisable, would perfectly lay out a, an extra little bit of information for him. And it was just... That was why the dialogue was so... And it would even happen bad. like in games where he would go near the fire alarm. Yeah. And then just as he's approaching, the, the voice would come on the channel and, and he'd be like, like, you know, there is a we'll reason him not- if he touches that fire alarm. <laughs> and then he'd go back and then maybe if he came again... Because if he sets off a fire alarm, that means he's panicking. <laughs> this is our plan. And it's like, oh my it was, God. and bizarrely, you said that you heard someone else say that as well. I have, like, yeah. I thought that yeah. completely separate to yeah. what you said. And yeah. I, I forgot about it until you mentioned it earlier in the episode. And genuinely, I felt the exact same thing. It was Craziness. crazy. It was so yeah, a two and, and deserved two. Yeah. It literally, we're giving it a two because it could be worse somehow probably yeah because at least it served a purpose i guess like <laughs> it did push the plot forward yeah it wasn't just it, pointless it, dialogue it, it, i mean some of it was yes yeah, so, yeah. 
but it's not all of it. Not all of it. I think one needs to be for me. How do you get that one? Think, think of it. You just have a 90 minutes of people saying random shit. Yeah. Okay, think of it like this. A 10 is like the great in that, like not the great, yeah. but one of the greats in that category. Yeah. This was terrible. Yeah. But I'm not comfortable I mean, we need to watch more really bad films. We, we do watch a lot yeah, of good films. Yeah. But I'm still not comfortable until I've watched more and saying this is one of the worst written dialogues in yeah. film. Yeah. You know, it's okay. just exceptionally bad. <laughs> okay. Performance. Two. No, no, no. no, 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 no I like no, to no. Because, I mean, the person who had the most screen time, Josh Hartnett, I'm going to stand by was good. I thought he was like... Seven... A- Point five for me. Okay, I would have him in kind of like the six, six really? point five range because he was fine. Yeah, but he did have a really interesting, like it's an interesting part to play, and I felt like some of his choices, like specifically when they did the close ups of him changing from being like smiley and having his mask on to no one's looking and now I can be all sinister and mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. creepy. Yeah. Was very much like a GCSE A level drop, like college level it, drama student yeah. would do the exact same thing. Like, but what I would say is on the flip side of that, he had some of the worst dialogue in history to work with. And yeah. it was also, I don't, uh, the more that we rate, the more I realize how rare it is to find roles, which actually need mm. range. Like he actually had to be good dad and then he actually had to be crazy. And then he actually, and I just feel like I enjoyed watching him do all those different roles. For sure. And to be fair, you can't like act that charming. You just have to be like naturally such a presence. Yeah. Not just because he's a big bear man, but like just, he just is quite magnetic. Yeah. So yeah, probably in the seven seven range there for him specifically, and, and then I his daughter, the daughter who had a yeah, little bit of time, seven, maybe, maybe eight, good, yeah. just for being a, a kid doing yeah. well. Raven, um, not good. Raven, no, like really I t- bad. Tell you who was quite good, M Night, when he had his cameo. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I look. The only director cameo I've seen right is the Tarantino ones. Oh yeah. Uh, so for me, when I see the director go on and not just be like the worst oh, okay like i was like you know what i'm quite impressed yeah maybe i couldn't see it like that because i was just like what's he doing why is, <laughs> why is he there and why is he saying my daughter's awesome she is really talented <laughs> okay. it's almost like he directly was trying to tell the audience that i know what you're thinking <laughs> almost. but actually she is really talented i'll be listening to her songs well it's obviously not a seven i would say not a six. You know, I hated, I, I feel sorry for him because he maybe had the worst dialogue in the whole thing, but um, Jonathan Langdon, the vendor, Jamie. 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 Like he was, it just was bad. Um, it was, I, I tell you what, is when they do, it's amazing how often they do comic relief in a film really badly. Oh yeah. It's, I hate it. Like, from a mile off, you knew that if there was any comedy in this, like from the first few lines, you're like, they'll have a character in this who will, will be insufferable. Yeah. And he yeah. didn't have much to work with, but five. Yeah. Okay. I'm Let's give it a five. five. A couple of all right ones. Visuals. Uh, Six or seven for me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, pretty standard. Better than better than bang in the middle or some, worse than bang some, in the middle? Some tenseness. I mean, he obviously knows his stuff as well, doesn't he? And he's done very well. He can build suspense. Like the mum Visually. scene at the end. Yeah. Sorry, M. Night. The, the mum scene at the end yeah. was, um, I thought, quite... It was the only bit which was like, oh, that's a bit unsettling. Vi- visually? Yeah, just like her in the doorway. Right, okay. Off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just visually. Um. And some of the scenes, obviously, um, the the extreme close ups, and then whenever they kind of present the uh, police and how they were going about finding people, yeah, and like kind of the greats as they came up, there, there was all that that patterning of like the black and white and the red, yeah, grating in the trailer, and also sometimes in yeah, the scene. cool like visual consistency. Uh, seven. The cinematography was pretty good i yeah. quite like it wasn't it wasn't june what a beautiful film that is uh yeah okay i'm happy with seven, seven. uh sound 
good. Yeah, come on, Raven. I liked her songs. I wonder how her career's doing after that. I mean, it can't have done, apart from her acting career, it can't have done Yeah, no one's going to be. Hardly. No one's going to be. Well, uh, I mean, she'll probably get plenty more roles, but not from any film other than her dad's. I was pleasantly surprised. I was watching it with Rachel and I was like, do you like these songs? And she's like, no, why would I like them? And I was like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the, <laughs> I, I, like, hate I, like, I hate these. I hate these. I hate these. It's funny, I wrote in my book, like, these songs rock. <laughs> these songs are really cool. <laughs> these are great. I, I want to. I haven't re-listened to it yet because we watched it quite recently, but that piano song at the end, I, 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 agree. I remember specifically being like, this is, I like yeah. this. So... Is it eight is great. No. Now, the thing is. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, but it was integrated into the movie. Well, I which think it's at least kind of cool. Though. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. If, you, if you're hard, no. I reckon eight, it was a enough. 7.3. You know, okay. I reckon so it was. Seven, a, I think it's going to land on the seven. Uh, impact. Right. So this is the first modern film we've done in this. this. Yeah, we we can go off of the 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 figures that I brought. So six point two IMDb, fifty five percent critic score, sixty five percent audience score, mm. and two point nine on Letterbox, forty seven million box office, thirty million budget. I think so. Not going to be like a film that people remember. No, but it's got to be. It's it's got it's generated a bit of buzz when yep. when films. I, th- I think for modern films, you got to think of it as like your Barbenheimer or your or your tens. Yeah, maybe nines, nine or ten, let's say, for impact. Yeah. Then you've got the majority of all movies, which may be in the the five to six sort of range, where they're coming out. Yeah. Not not making a splash. No one Only real film goers maybe watching them. Losing money. You've probably got some that have a higher average, like your comic book films, um, ones yeah. that make money. And then you got ones like this, which kind of sleeper hit. It, it reached us. I, we wanted to do this because I was like, "Hey, you know what? This looks quite looks good. Fun. The trailers look good." Yeah. And I would say that it's if it's in that sleeper hit range, it made money. So we reckon it's. I like that breakdown. Yeah. So what, does that put it seven? Is that what you're thinking? Or I'm maybe thinking I, a seven. Yeah, I think I, nice, I agree with everything nice, you said, cool and I think seven, seven is where that lands. So what are we talking here? Trap 2024, directed by M. Night Shyamalan, starring Josh Hartnett, has now been ranked out of 10 in every category. Without further ado, the scores we have given Trap are Fred's Enjoyment, 6.0 out of 10. Jambo's Enjoyment, 6.2 out of 10. Plot, 4. Character, 3. Dialogue, 2. Performance, 5. Visual, 7. Sound, 7. Impact, 7. Giving an average score of 5.24 out of 10, which puts it 2 from the bottom. Mm. two from the bottom it's in the bottom five percentile mm. this yeah. is one of okay closing statement it's a lot of fun <laughs> but it is so bad it's infuriatingly bad especially the writing but, but yeah infuriating and when i say infuriatingly bad it's like this is enjoyably bad that's a way yeah. to describe it enjoyably we had, we bad. Both, we both enjoyed it quite a more than we'd care to admit but it was an absolute mess of it a film. It was a car crash. but And I'll say on the files, like it's near the bottom, but, you know. We've done some great. We'll get ones. There will be ones that get a lot lower than this, and that'll be yeah. purely on how boring they are. Yeah. In almost every metric that the, we measure yeah. how good a film is, yeah. or we try to objectively, it doesn't do well, apart from our enjoyment scores. Which still didn't do that well <laughs> but we, we gave it low enjoyment scores because purely like that film was so it was <laughs> unforgivable you can't, can't put that film <laughs> above full metal jacket no nope. even though maybe i enjoyed it more than full metal jacket. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i'm gonna cut that right yeah. thanks so much for listening everyone we'll uh, we'll see you on the next one yeah thank you cheers dave cheers rachel